What's up, guys? I am frozen. Yeah. I mean, I'm not used to recording videos on YouTube. Not gonna lie. I keep on looking on my like on my my screen because I'm used to like looking at chat because I stream. I I'm usually uh, streaming on Facebook and Twitch. Link's gonna be in the description below. And uh, yeah, might as well make a YouTube at the same time. So yeah, we're gonna be playing Satisfactory. It's early access right now. You can get it on uh, Epic Games. It's going to be out on Steam soon, but uh, I'm not sure when this when that's going to be. But yeah. Satisfactory. Yeah. This is Satisfactory. It's in early access. And it's a game that I really enjoy playing because it deals with uh, making a factory that's efficient. Uh, we're going to do a new game. Now, the thing about this game... Is that you see there's like different maps right this isn't actually different maps there's actually just one map and these are different biomes in which you can spawn in uh, usually I spawn in the grass field which is an easy place to start because there's a lot of resources everywhere so yeah let's get into it I, I feel like recording is it for me but I should it should I should make it like I should I should oh my god I can't even speak fix it HUD OS. Here we go. Hmm. Attention Pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fixit Pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of oh. work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Sorry. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Okay. Yeah, I know this. I know this. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Mm -hmm, Make mm -hmm. sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Mm -hmm. Expand your factories, <laughs> outposts, cute. and pipelines through automation hey. and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planet fall imminent. Please remain seated during oh, here we the go. procedure. This is the fun part. Atmospheric entry in five, four, three, two, one. Planet fall procedure initialized. Hey. That fire looking nice, man. Honestly, this game looks beautiful. When we get into it, game looks amazing. But you start to turn down settings when you're uh, when you're fairly into the game because everything starts taking a toll. I'm excited. Let's go. Hey. Oh, that's so cool. I never realized that there's a, like, this parallax effect that's happening on the outside. Planet fall complete. That's cool. It's cool. Please ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Remember, efficiency first. Hey. Looks amazing. Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated two. sector in the binary star system of Akicha. This is all they give you. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers such as you in their mission. You are the Amazing. third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Third of your sector. Congratulations. <laughs> wow. First objective. Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on <gasps> referred to as There's water the here. Is this water? Oh no. my god, this is important. Fix it incorporated as cost effective oh, no. and efficient. We do not waste. I don't have a weapon yet. No, 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 no. Second no. objective. Please ensure you have your Work. fix it incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. 
No. Yes, 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 yes. Come here, come here. Every Die. Have access to a Yeet! Of Thank God. <laughs> that was so scary. <laughs> All right, we the got water, boys. Might shed light on how to increase chances oh my gosh, I don't remember this area. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. There's more. What up, boy? Objective. Please familiarize ah! yourself oh. with the resource scanner to find iron. Come here, come here, come here. Note, I got you. the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation come for on, all future here. objectives. Ha! Oh! Freak! I thought I died. Aha! Okay. I need to press V? Oh. Let's go iron. I need to be near water. Not gonna lie. So where is the closest one? Oh my god, it's so far. 300 meters away. Over there. Oh, wait, we're gonna pick up leaves as well? Oh, freak. Because leaves are... W uh, is what you use Pigment for uh, can be harvested from these flower petals and turned into dye. A new research tree can now be accessed that can in be the map. fairly later in the game. But yeah, leaves are what you use for fuel early in the game. So you gotta get these while on the way to wherever the iron is. I'm gonna press V again. Oh, it's over here. Oh gosh, I know this area. Is there water near here? Because if it's down there, we're going to have some problems. We are going to have some problems. Oh, there's big guy. Those are harmless. Those big guys are harmless. It's the small dudes that you need to worry about. Also, there's bees somewhere around here. I think there's there might be water over there. I'm not sure. We need to look for water. There's water over there. But there's water over here. Gosh. Yeah, this is the closest. Gosh, it's it's a little far, but I, I feel like we can work with it. Yeah. I can drop down here. Probably. Yes. Ah, I keep on pressing the wrong buttons. Yeet. Alright. We got iron. We're gonna need that. Hello, iron. Alright. Uh, yeah. Holy crap! Gosh. Oh my god, I was having fun. Gula <laughs> Tashin. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non optimal. You need progress. to unlock these. You, you need to remove these top parts in order to put miners on it later on. So, yeah. I'll be removing all three of these uh, here. Hey. Alright. We're gonna put the hub over here. I need to. I need to get rid of this guy for uh, just yeah. I, I need to. Oh, there's a bird now. I've never seen that bird. Oh, ole, hiya. Hey, there we go. I'm getting better at that. Although my HP is kind of low. <gasps> Birdie, what up, boy? I feel like we can tame these later. There used to be dogs. I'm not sure if they're still dogs. But there used to be dogs. Oh God, he's so cute. I won't find you again later, my dude. But yeah. Uh, Q, right? The hub. This is where everything starts, so... I need to place it pretty well. But I can move it around, so... Yeah. It won't be that hard. Craft. Crafting bench. Oh, wait, Congratulations. No. You have unlocked. Hub feature. Manual craft bench. Craft there bench. You go. Hub feature. Oh, I need iron terminal. rods and iron plate. Fifth objective. Complete hub upgrade need, uh, one. Note, the craft bench and hub terminal and are essential ingots. for progression to the next objective. So right now, everything is manual. So I, there is an option to make things manually. So like if I have iron ore, I can manually craft the ingots. And then later on, you can make uh, smelters, which make the ingots. And then other things in order to make, to automate making the plates and the rods. So that... Uh, Everything is automated, uh, making literally a factory. 
Yeah, this, this, this is the part where, like, I, I'm just, I'm just cut this out, because this takes a while. I don't need the ore for anything else. I just need the ingots. The ingots are, the, like, for the most part, what you need. Later on, you're gonna need the ore for something else, like steel. You need the, the ore for steel, but that's way later on. I'm gonna make three of those. We're gonna have three more of these. It's pretty easy. And then we craft again. Craft? No. How is it again? Q? There it is. Craft bench. Hello. I'll put you right over here. Chanan! Oh, it's the same thing. Why did I do that? It doesn't make sense. Okay. I need to make uh, parts from the craft and the craft bench. Oh, yeah. This is the hub terminal is where you upgrade the hub in order to get the portable miners or inventory slot and the equipment workshop. The equipment workshop is where you get more stuff like this zapper thing. So I need more rods. Dun, 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 dun. dun. Okay, that's fine. We shall uh, hub upgrade. Yeet. Yeet. Hey, we finally got some fertile storage. I don't. Yeah. Don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need Congratulations. this. Congratulations, you have right. unlocked building Yay. workshop equipment portable level minor. zero <laughs> inventory additional slot level zero. This Hub is gonna take Personal storage. Oh yeah, I need to make the equipment workshop in order to make the the thing, the thingamajig. Oh, I need plates. Okay, more plates. Okay, that was all. Yeah, equipment workshop. Yay! Um, I might actually just. Uh, how do I? It's F. There you go. The thing about here is when you deconstruct something, it gives you all of the resources. It doesn't deduct from it. So you can literally, you can literally, oh my god, excuse me. You can literally move stuff around and not have any penalties. Like this craft bench. I don't really need the craft bench right now because I have one built in. So yeah, we're going to make a portable miner. We're going to make three. So that we can uh, portable mine uh, all of the things, all of the... They don't stack, as you can see in the inventory. They do not stack. Because uh, they take up one slot each. Duh. <laughs> but yeah, since there are three nodes here, I can put down. I can put these down. Yeet. And they mine automatically. Automagically. Without any power, without anything. Because they are portable miners. Yeet. At the same time, I can still pick up ore if I need to. Also, I just like listening to the to the sound. I'm gonna make another one so that I can get uh, that. That is uh, I forget what you're called. Limestone. This is what you get for concrete, which is mm, used to make. Uh, I keep on looking at the freaking. Let's cut this out. I uh. uh uh, oh, they added the door. Oh, snap. I didn't know they added a door. Okay. That's actually pretty useful. I don't remember that door being there. I don't remember that wall being there. Anyway. Uh, they changed a lot of things. Uh, the limestone is what you use in order to uh, make concrete, which is used to make foundation. Which you need. Oh, yeah. I need to make stuff first. Ingots. Dun, 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 dun. I just need one more. And now we go over here, we put that in my hands, and then we drop it here. There you go. It'll mine limestone for us later on, which will be very useful. Now we look at upgrading the hub. Because upgrading the hub is the way of the future. Copper ore. Oh, copper is going to be important, yes. It's the next thing that we need. You see, concrete is over here. We need limestone for it. And yeah, this gets expensive really fast. Now we just need to unlock this part, which I can undo, which I can do right now. Yeet. Yeet, yeet. Upgrade. 
Ta -da! Now we get this area. This transforms into something else later, but we will find that. We will find out you what that is later. Feature, biomass burner. Scanner feature, copper. New buildings Powerful. and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Okay. I'm gonna make another objective. Complete portable upgrade mirror, three. which I need. Note. Connect buildings to a biomass burner I need for power. Three plates. Note. Buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Okay, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Makes Advice. Sense. Automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. There you go. I grabbed everything that was in there, which is a hundred ore. That's a lot. Oh, hello there, big boy. Uh, I was slightly scared, not gonna lie. Uh, we go here, make copper ingots. Manually make copper ingots. We, I used to have a friend that manually crafted everything like he was really good at crafting everything you know who you are chagamo pre <laughs> but yeah he when we needed something real quick he just manually crafted everything it was ridiculous but yeah i'm gonna get this i'm gonna get iron plates because we need iron plates and then we get iron rods next and I think that's good for now. And then we make that portable miner. I'm going to get two. Just two. Because uh, I don't think we can. I'm not sure if we can. Maybe I'm going to go and scan. Oh, nope. That's crouch. Nope. That is uh, recipes. It's this one. Copper. Yeet. Oh my god. It's extremely far. 200 meters away. Oh, it's not that far. I mean, yeah. I'm going to just bring this with me just in case the big boys, I mean the small boys, start attacking me on the way there. It's not super far, but it is kind of far. Whoa, whoa, hello there. Hello there, boy. What up, what up? I got you. Yeet. Yeet. Got you, boy. Is there another one? Okay. Honestly, I was slightly scared. Those things are so scary, my dudes. Not gonna lie. I forget how to turn on the flashlight on this guy. This guy has a flashlight. I know there's a... Is it this thing? Yep. Whoa! Oh my god. Come here. Yeet. Ole! Come here, come here, come here. Come here. I dare you. Yeet! Oh gosh. Dan, dan. Come on, come on. Whoa! Hiya! Alright. Those alien carapaces are gonna be important later. Which I just store them in the the hub. Bam bam bam. Oh, there you go. I guess somebody's awake downstairs. I'm gonna get a little bit of copper ore right now. Because I need it. This thing grabs fast. Okay, we're good. We're gonna be crafting some ingots now. Can I craft a smelter? I can craft a smelter. Oh, I need a wire. Eight wire. Okay. We get the ingots first. Oh, we can make the wire now. Frick the copper. Uh, ingots for a while but I want that smelter okay this gets weird there's power lines now and in order to power these things these 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 things get really hungry real quick and uh, yeah see the biomass burner takes in those things and then uh, we can connect power. I need cable. Do we even have cable yet? Is it unlocked? Oh, it is, it is, it is. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Power line straight into that thing. And then we can configure it to make iron ingots or copper ingots, right? That's fun. So it would automate making the iron ingots, which again, I can just put in there. It would start producing. Usually you'd have like a a miner over there that's just a portable miner there's an actual miner later on that can feed all of the ore from those things straight into the smelter 
and there are container boxes later on for the output and also the input if you want to make those things I need to get the leaves from over here because I'm gonna need to feed this a lot of leaves it's not efficient the leaves are not efficient they take they 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 go out real fast but yeah uh, what am I gonna do now oh yeah hub hub upgrade 3 needs 20 20 wire okay we're gonna just keep uh, crafting the ingots until I get uh, 20 wire down here see you can see how much you can make on the right side based on the raw uh, material that you have in the inventory so I'll have 20 what else do I need uh, 20 20 plates and 20 rods all right we can, we can do that uh, I'm gonna craft the ingots first in order to make like 20 rods and then I'm gonna get the ingots that the my uh, the smelter makes so that we can make 20 more plates like later in the game you'll have a lot of these smelters and we'll have constructors later see it already has 47 it's really fast man and then we'll make more plates 20 we need 20 of these and yeet we already have that I keep on saying yeet for no reason see right now when we do this we get a constructor which w the constructor uses the ingots in order to make uh, the rods and the plates and the wire just it, it just uses the ingots as in as, uh, as an input oh I'm excited all right all right let's let's unlock this and that one upgrade yay all right is this thing good yep we have fuel the goal is to get the biomass as fast as possible scanner feature limestone new buildings and recipes which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively good 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 I get it, I get it. the biomass objective complete hub upgrade for note use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results I know this I know this okay the biomass again going back the biomass is very important it burns slower than the leaves and the, the branches in the wood so oh my god that, that's still there that thing's scary oh shooting star oh no that's just a slug okay never mind it's not a shooting star uh see it's upgraded we have sleeping now we have the beds now we have computers now we have a toilet no bidet though oh does it have a bidet i'm not sure how would you get toilet paper out here probably not a thing right anyway the next upgrade needs uh concrete now and 75 iron plate 20 cable that's a lot but we get conveyor belts next oh we have screws now you know screws really screw with you later on ha pun funny i am funny joke I don't need to make any of those anytime soon. This thing, I have a lot of plates. The thing about this is that uh, you can change the output. You can make it stop, get the output, select recipe, go to copper. Oh, oh yeah, never mind. This one's gonna be ingot. Let's just turn that on. Oh yeah, this is this is like oh, I'm confused. What is this? Iron ore, copper ore, limestone. Okay, these three need needs more of a distinction. Not gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna put more iron ore in there so it can make more uh, make more of those. Okay, I'm gonna make another uh, smelter. Can't afford. Need wire. Need uh, rods. Okay, it's not pretty, you know, but it's all you honestly need. We need a power pole as he said we need concrete which we fantastically put a portable miner over here to get the limestone in order to make concrete yay and there it is how much do i need i also not i also need cable right power pole oh yeah we have enough all right the power pole lets you connect multiple connect that you connect multiple things into one wait I need to get rid of this power line first and then uh, 
connect that power line, connect the generator into the power pool, which then has four inputs and outputs. It doesn't really care what the inputs and outputs are. I'm missing cable. I need to make more cable. Cable. Okay. I think that's enough. There you go. Now I need to run. Let's make a uh, copper over here. It's going to be producing that. I need to run towards... Uh, all right. I need to run towards the copper real quick. Grab all. Okay. Uh, already ran out. Okay. It's making copper ore. Ta -da! This guy is probably making more iron. Oh no. The ingots. This limestone. I need more ore. Grab this. It's less scary, you know. What did I need for the next one? Concrete. A concrete cable and iron plate. Uh, I can make, for now, a constructor. Oh, it needs, what does it need? A oh, reinforced iron plate? Really? This early? Damn. Okay. It's this guy. It needs screws and it needs iron plates, which is kind of annoying. And two reinforced iron plates. Sakta. Oh, I need cable. Constructor in order to make... Uh, the constructor is very useful. I'm gonna be rearranging this later, don't worry. I'm not sadistic. Like some people who play this game where they just put everything everywhere. Yeah, this, uh, this guy can make like second tier stuff. Like first tier is the ore. Like this guy. Second tier is the plates, the iron rods, the screws, the wire, and stuff like that. And right now, I need what? I need a lot of plates, so I'm gonna be making the plates on this guy. Plates, and it needs ingots. Turn it on. No power. Not gonna lie, I was not thinking about it. There you go. Is this thing still okay? So, for all of the generators, there's gonna be a. Uh, I keep on looking here. I should be looking there. Okay. For all of the generators, generators, gener, gen, yeah, generators, there is a maximum capacity, which is 20. For this one, it's 20 megawatts. You get more uh, higher wattage, higher megawatt wattage, whatever stuff later on that can uh, accommodate more equipment. But right now, it's 20. If I go past 20, it turns off. And so does everything here. Yeah. It's on sound. Right? Turn that on. All right. So when we get... When we get, what's it called? When we get uh, conveyor belts later, we can have this go into an output, which goes into the input of uh, this constructor, which means I just need to put iron ore into this thing and it will make plates automatically. Just like like that, right? Also for the, for the smelter, I can do that as well. Is there somebody walking around? I'm so scared. I feel like somebody's walking around. It's kind of scary. Okay. But yeah. Right now, it's very inefficient. Not gonna lie. Uh, is this thing... Is th oh, this thing needs iron ore. Okay. Yeah. Later on, we'll be able to make a miner. Like a Mark 1 miner. So that I don't need to keep grabbing this thing. It just feeds it through the smelter, through a conveyor belt. And uh, yeah, I don't need to do much. So like later on, we'll get a miner, Mark 1, which will uh, which will send the iron ore into the input of uh, the smelter, which will then make it into uh, iron ingots. And then the iron ingots will go into a conveyor belt straight into a, uh, into a constructor, which will make it into plates, right? Thus, not needing to manually make everything right that's how you play this game you play this game to optimize production that is so ridiculous I keep on thinking there's people near me I need to get more leaves because it's around uh, it's about to run out of leaves yeah good morning planet 
we, I'm, I'm not sure what to call this planet. But yeah. And now we wait. Oh, I think I need to go for a copper run right now. Oh, there's fruits over here. Is that fruit? Oh, that is fruit. Paleberry. This oh. is one of multiple edibles we have detected in your vicinity, which are within approved nutritional and medical categories as established by R&D. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Oh, the MAM. The MAM, you unlock later on. It's not here yet. It's usually over here. It's used to research uh, other things that you find in the world, basically. When do you get the MAM? I'm not sure. Anyway. Uh, what was he going to do? Oh yeah, I'm just going to put the uh, copper ore into here to make more copper ingots. I have a lot of ingots now. Yeet. I need, I keep on saying yeet. Like that. I'm going to put this into this thing so I can make more plates. I need to get those plates. I have 79 now, which is more than what I need for the hub upgrade. And I'm um, just do that. I need 20 uh, cable. Right now, so I'm gonna manually make that wire. There you go. And then uh, just do that. Now I need concrete. I do have the concrete. So, hub upgrade! We finally have conveyor belts and conveyor poles. Congratulations. Amazing. You have so, I'm just gonna flip this around so that we can have the belt go straight into our uh, smelter and I'll show you that real quick so we can have this go straight into that thing yay so when we put iron ingot oh we don't have iron ore god freaking damn it I need to go over here when we get the iron ore from over here we put it on this we put it in this thing it will start producing iron ingots and then it will just feed it straight into the constructor. Amazing, right? So it will never run out of ingots, more or less. Right now it's using 30 per minute. And this thing is producing 30 per minute. So everything should be self-sufficient in this part. Not really self, like 100% self-sufficient because we still don't have a miner in order to feed it the ore uh, continuously, but you know, it's working. What do we need next? Oh, there we go. We're gonna get the Mark 1 miner now and the storage container, which is also important. So that the constructors don't stop making things because they have a limit uh, to contain 100. And when you make a container, it's just like literally uh, like 20, 100, 20 stacks, or like 100 is one stack, but yeah. 75 rods, cable, and uh, concrete. I'll probably make another constructor. I just need uh, reinforced again. Not gonna lie. But yeah, that power pole is maxed out. So, what you're gonna do is put another power pole, which I need wire for. Huh? <gasps> Going back here. You can put another power pole, like right there. And then you can uh, literally probably power off this guy. Uh, what button do I press? Power off that guy. Power this guy. Power. Oh, crap. This guy and power that guy. And also we need a conveyor belt across like that. And this will be making wire. It makes two, 30 parts per minute, which is two wire, so that means like 30, more or less. I mean, 60, my math, god. But yeah, I just need to put the copper in here. There is no copper. Gosh, I need to do a copper run. Do I need, yep, I need leaves as well. This is how this game ramps up really fast. <laughs> and leaf run while I'm going for a copper run. What am I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna put the copper in here. Copper. 
the leaf. All right, all right. Oh yeah, when you make more machines, this thing chews faster, like way faster. You see that? It's, it's yeah. That's gonna be way faster. Oh, oh. Having, no, oh. Yay. Now it's making stuff. Alright, now we wait. Yep. Don't need anything else right now. I just need this thing. Oh, I can work on the limestone while I'm waiting. Oh, I just need a 20. Great. The wire, I need 50 of. Which I need to manually make again. Huh. I can also get like another constructor here to make the wire. Don't need to really. Because it's really easy to make the wire. And I mean the cable. I mean cable. But yeah. There you go. 55. Just the rods now. We have 22 of 79. All right, that's more than enough, I guess. Upgrade. Let's go. Do we have the? Oh, we still don't have a thing. New buildings. Congratulations, you have unlocked building minor storage mark container. One. Building storage container. Help All right. Feature additional biomass burner. Tenth objective: complete hub upgrade six. Note, note there are no notes <laughs> note to ensure full mastery of thought there were no notes equipment i have been asked to not interfere with this last objective good luck good god thank you all right we need a portable miner and we have all the things so we can automate this right now so we just need to grab this miner pick up miner auto and then we just place this thing on top of it I'm gonna face the conveyor belt uh, towards the opening of the first one of the smelter and then we're gonna have a conveyor belt all the way straight into uh, here oh yeah this thing needs power as well by the way oh it needs wire that's why we have this thing yeet where is that pole all right. It's gonna mine automatically. Yay. All right. And it's gonna be producing 60 or iron ore per minute, which is pretty insane, not gonna lie. The conveyor belts only bring, what again? Yeah, transport 60. Per, per minute. Later on, you get faster conveyor belts, faster miners, and stuff like that. Yeah, this thing's gonna get bottleneck really fast. Because that thing's trading out 60. This thing only needs 30, and that thing needs. Oh, I can. Can I, can I do that right now or not? Later on, there's a. Later on, there's a. What's it called? Overclocking of machines and we can tune the efficiency of all of this so that it doesn't take up as much energy on the biomass which I guess I need to put more biomass into oh I don't have any freak uh, everything's gonna stop if it turns off not gonna lie no there you go yeah everything just turned off <laughs> oh gosh oh you know what I can just put wood in it right uh, that, that'll, that'll turn out a little better uh what's the last oh uh, we're almost there by a mass we need 50 concrete 100 wire iron 100 iron plates and 100 iron rods all right how many iron rods do we have over here 44 that makes 47 uh we already have 52 okay we're just gonna let this go for a while i need to grab more leaves and wood Is it a biomass burner generator? Biomass burner. Yeah, it's called biomass burner. I can put more wood into there. Now that I upgraded, there's two of them now because it knows I'm going gonna, gonna to need more of those a little later. Uh, later on, actually, you can already make... Oh, no, you can't. It's, uh, it's here. You can have a biomass burner separate from the hub. 
so that if you have like nodes far away you can have them generating an energy and not need to put a wire all the way there you know oh i have wood over here okay that's good i keep on pressing q by accident that's uh annoying uh first things first i need to make uh, the concrete the concrete is the only thing that i don't have automated i have the wire automated which is fine i have the what is it called? I have the wire that's automated right now, and I have the rods automated. So all I need to do is to concrete manually. And I need a hundred, or I guess fifty. Yeah. Okay, we got concrete. Oh, I only need fifty. All okay. right. Now we need a hundred wire. Do I have the hundred wire? I have fifty-one wire. I'm just gonna put everything that I have right now, so I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I have all of this. Now, oh, it says it on the top right. You can see. Uh, 100 wire. I just need a few more. I probably get the wire here. There you go. And that's probably most of the rods. This can probably start churning out uh, plates because that's what I really need. Yeah, I can probably just yank a few. Oh no, I have more portable miners over here just to get uh, more ore. Uh, make more ingots. Just in time. All right. Oh, glitch. I call glitch. Oh, there you go. Congratulations. All right. You have unlocked building space elevator. Building biomass hey. burner. Heart biomass. I love this guy. This guy is cool. Motivational message. Congratulations. You succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Let's Fix go. Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Yeet. Additional knowledge. The hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fix It approved oh, that's so protocols. Cool. All right. All right. Future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and, as such, initiating project assembly. Good luck. All right. That's when uh, Ada starts to turn off. Okay. Now we have tier one and tier two. This is when it gets real fun. You have base building stuff. You have logistic stuff, which you have the lifts and the mergers and the splitters. So, like mergers can merge multiple conveyor belts into one conveyor belt. What is this? Oh, I've never seen this before. This is new. Oh, damn. Okay. The MAM, of course. Oh, you build it now. Or, I'm not even sure. But yeah. You can unlock this later. And then we have also the assembler, which crafts two parts into another part. So, like, later on, there will be, like, for example, the reinforced plates. It needs two, st two things to make it. You can make it automated using... Uh, that uh, assembler so it would make it on its own oh there's copper sheet now and also smart plating these things are new oh my god this is gonna be fun solid biofuel that's also new oh damn awesome sink oh wow okay awesome shop that's also new i don't know this also there you go here are the mark ii belts and the mark ii lifts which uh doubles the speed of them so that uh you can have, uh, let's say, a merger merging two uh, 60, 60 speed uh, belts into a 120 belt. Also, you get uh, faster smelters later. Stuff like that. I'm just going to make some biomass so that you guys can see. I'm not even going to make a lot. I'm just going to show you guys how efficient the biomass is. So right now, if I put uh, leaves in there, you'd see it churns that real fast. 0.8 seconds. It's really fast. But if I put biomass in there, it takes 9 seconds for one biomass. So that is really how you uh, power all of this efficiently. And it doesn't take that much. So you just need leaves, wood. You can make it from anything from the ground. Just pick it up. You can make 10... It takes 10 leaves to make uh, 5 biomass. 
and it takes four wood to make 20 biomass which again is very efficient it's ridiculous all right i am going to end the video here let me guys know let me guys know let me know guys my english is really broken i'm sorry uh let me got a little let me know if you guys like what you're watching so that i can make more videos i'll i'll probably make more i'll definitely make more videos on satisfactory it's a really fun game it just takes a lot of time uh doing all of this but yeah i really like playing this game this is a game that i usually play with my friends I'm, you might see some of my friends play this with me some one of these days and uh yeah you may like follow the page follow subscribe stuff like that you know all that and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Alam. <laughs>